In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a SharePoint form using InfoPath. Um, oftentimes, it's the best to start a form from SharePoint and collect some links to, for example, the database to the uh, user list. Um, I'm talking about the person and groups and uh, just like a, a Outlook uh, contact list and so on. Uh, that kind of things uh, come with certain link. Um, it works really good with um, uh, SharePoint list and then the form that comes with it. And then you export it into Info, Info Path, which is uh, really designed for uh, making the form a lot more dynamic and comprehensive and then you export, uh, export back to or import back to uh, SharePoint. So let's go ahead and start. So from the uh, SharePoint website I'm going to create a new uh, list um, because the form is based on a list so I'm going to go ahead and click on the list link from the quick launch and then I want to create a new create um, new list item and I'm going to use a custom list so I can build up the columns or the fields of the form or the list um, so let's say we ha let's say we have a DVD collection for the training oops say not underscore DVD collection and then click, click on the create button <coughs> excuse me so this is a custom list so I can build up um, the columns by clicking on this uh, create column so um, oh before we get there so let's go ahead and open what the um, <coughs> The current form is so we have title by default that that's the uh, the only field that comes with it um, in fact you know these uh, attached files is should be here but that's up there anyway um, that's good because we can use the title as the title of the DVD so that'll work but we need a few more um, fields so let me go ahead and cancel it and then go ahead and add new column and this is going to be let's say um, let's say who who um, mm, the developer the creator creator of the video and then it's going to be um, a person or a group and as I click on that person or group option it changes the, uh, the look of it and then I come down here um, let's say requires this content information mm, perhaps not uh, but I will say yes for allow multiple selections so there are people um, it could be people only or people or group that's I will say people or group and then click on OK so obviously these are not that critical information um, but I added and then I let's say take a look at it there you go we have the creator and then I type in uh, my name and then check the name yes it is recognized alright so that's good so that's good enough um, for a very short form and now I'm going to export it to um, InfoPath. So let's see, I'm going to customize it and customize form. So this is a kind of a narrow window. So let me, if I just expand it, you'll see that, uh, not really. Let's see, let me widen it. 
And then, oh, there you go. So there's, you usually see the customized foam um, right displayed. It's not tucked under, um, oopsie, it's not tucked under customized list. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on customize foam and it's asking the permission to export or the link hand over the link to the info path I'll say yes go ahead please I need that and it opens up um, login let's say I'm gonna enter my password let me minimize the window a little bit so you can see better Okay, so here we are. Let's uh, apply some design. Some, let's say, go to uh, page design. By the way, InfoPath itself is a is a course itself. So uh, it's um, it's got a lot of things. Let me go ahead and change to something else. Let's say, all right. So that creator. It should be creator. There you go. There you go. There's a uh, spell check. And then um, here I'm going to put a button because eventually my goal is putting this form on a web page. And on the web page, you want to have um, a button. You don't have to because the SharePoint gives a different uh, menu options but um, to make it self-contained it's a good idea to have um, submit button so under the home let me get the button and it's there and the property of the button is gonna be submit and then let's say go to home I'm going to no. I'm gonna go to layout and let's see, center and horizontal and vertical. So I think that's that's a good enough. And then attachments got added here as a field, which is fine. And I'm going to publish it by pointing and click on this arrow and the lightning icon that'll. Uh, import back or export back to SharePoint okay it's it's published successfully click on OK and I'm gonna close it and back here on SharePoint I click on add new item there you go and that's good and this is what I meant. You have uh, SharePoint gives a diff this this option, save and close and things like that. So you don't need a submit button. However, so this is good. So let me go ahead and enter one item. Let's say, um, welcome to the campus. And let's say I created. Check it and submit and there you go it shows right there so now this is good but uh, let's say I want to be a little bit more fancy and I want to put it uh, this form on the home page or, or a web page so I'm gonna go out the browse and then go to the home page and there I'm gonna go to the edit uh, option and I'm gonna put a web part that's basically what you do so insert and then web part and then <clears throat> here at the top list and, and libraries and then if you come down here and then click on add it will basically put a web part with list of all the li uh, list items that's not exactly what you want so let me go ahead and do that and see So this shows the, the names of, of the titles and the name of the creator and and so on. So this is not the one that I, this is a, 
this is good. Uh, you can use it for certain purposes, but for now, I want to have something else actually. Uh, go to go back to web part instead of a list of libraries, and I go down to forms. I want to put a form, and is info path form web part, and then go, go ahead and click on add. So here it is, um, but it needs a little bit more information. Select form, so I click on the tool pane. It's loading slowly, and then I go to the right here. And it's very simple, list to a library, click DVD collections. And then, um, I think that's basically it. All I need to do, and then go ahead and click on OK. And go back up here. It's working. There you go. It's loaded. And I'm afraid that I messed up here or something. There you go. Come back here. All right, so we are back here on the home page, and then I'm going to save this change. So I added two web parts. One is to just list of the list items, and then the other one is actual form. So let me just go ahead and put, let's say, um, let's say words from the president. That's the title, and then let's say again. I let's say I created it. Check name. That's good. I click on submit, and then oh, actually I have to close it first. Sorry about that. There you go. Form is has been closed. Um, that's basically it. Of course, there's uh, in the the properties of this web part. There are ways to uh, close the form and open a new form, blank form, and things like that. So you, there's a way to uh, manipulate that kind of control. Okay, I hope that's uh, helpful.